Hi, this is Claude Plan, Affiliate Starting Line. This is going to be a short video to show you how you can download videos from Google Photos to your desktop and then into your editing program or whatever you need to do. But it uh, is real easy if you're using Google Photos. So how did I do it? Well, here it is. You'll see, you'll notice here that I have two videos on my desktop. Time Machine 1, Time Machine 2. I'm going to take those put them in the trash. That way you'll see how, how they, where they came from. All right, so I needed to download this because I needed to create a video, and I knew that uh, my iPhone that I shot the videos on uh, were automatically downloaded to Google Photos because I've set it up that way, and I have a series of videos that shows you how to do that. So I went into Google Photos. I looked and found the videos that I was looking for. Here's one right here. So when I went into that, I don't want to run this. Hey, guys, this is... I went over here, and when I first opened it up, I put in a description. Time Machine 1, just for my own personal reference. Then I went over here to the right-hand side, and you see Download? I clicked it. Let's try it again. There it is. So it came in, it's going to my desktop, and I named it Time Machine 1. Saved it. Okay. Then... I went back in over here. This is the second video I needed. Selected it. Sometimes they auto load, and I, I don't want to do that. There they go. Okay, so, so now I've got um, same thing my here. Uh, I put in the descriptions for my own purposes, and then when I went in here, I went to download. I named it Time Machine Two. and brought it in. So now, I've got two videos that I shot on my iPhone that automatically uploaded to Google Photos that I was now able to download onto my desktop. And then I could go into, uh, in my case, ScreenFlow, open up a new document. There it is. And then in this particular piece of software, let me get rid of this one. All I had to do was drag Time Machine into the media library. And then I get it into a timeline to edit. There's one. There's the other. And then you can go to work and edit and add titles and do all the rest of it. But that's it. So that's how you get your video into, from Google Photos onto your desktop. I hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Blanc Affiliate Storyline. Stay with it. Stay well. Talk soon.